Hello and welcome to On-Prem Pros. Today, we are gonna be talking about our top five iDRAC features. And at the end, we're gonna do a little preview of some upcoming videos and give you a chance to influence exactly what we cover. Who wouldn't love that? So today joining me, um, I'm Ryan Brown, I'm your host today. I have Tyler Young, he's Solution Architect for Xbyte Technologies. Tyler, welcome to On-Prem Pros. Thank you, happy to be here. Yeah, so Tyler, while we get to it, can you give us just a, for anyone who doesn't know what iDRAC is, can you give us just a quick down and dirty 30 second overview? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, iDRAC um, is essentially Dell's, uh, it stands for Integrated Dell Remote Access Controller. Um, and essentially what that is, is it's Dell's out of band management uh, platform that you or your users use to um, you know, essentially you know monitor and manage your server environment. So you know, you can do this, you know, in person, you know, right at the server, or you can do it remotely, you know, wherever you're at. So um, that's, that's essentially in a nutshell, what, what iDRAC is. Nice, nice. And for anyone out there, um, the first little tidbit we're going to give you, we're gonna give you a couple of hints as we go through today. If you get iDRAC, it comes with a default name and password, please change that. <laughs> it, is very, it, is, it is well known what that is. So please change that. Um, so that uh, you don't open up any uh, uh, any kind of holes to get access to your servers. But so so there's your first tip, Tyler. You and I we talked earlier today about okay, hey, what are what are some of the, the top features? And there's a lot of them. And if anyone's here watching uh, on the YouTube, we will include uh, in the notes some of any, any of our any of any of our notes. So in any uh, any of the documentation of all the features will include for you, so you can do your own research kind of come up with your own top five but tyler what are your what are your top five features that you love in idrac yeah of course so um just to start off i just want to kind of um preface by saying that there are different um you know tiers of idrac um and you know all this is the same physical hardware so it's not like you need to upgrade something physically right at the end of the day it's all a one gig rj45 port on the rear of, of the server um However, the only thing that changes is essentially the, the license tier. And I won't get into the specifics because there's a lot of them. Um, but just, you know, in general, I will say enterprise or higher um, is definitely what's recommended because that's where you're going to really get all of um, essentially the, the necessary remote features to really have, you know, complete control of your system wherever you're at. So um, definitely just kind of want to preface there. Um, as far as, oh, and I guess one thing that also add is uh, a common question I get is, pricing um, does fluctuate, but I will say that it is perpetual. So it's not like a subscription based or anything like that. So, you know, you pay for it when you buy the server and that's it, right? So, you know, just- It is the last perpetual license on the planet right <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> exactly, so get it while you can. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so um, back to uh, to the question at hand. So when it comes to the features, I will say, I'll just, you know, kind of start the, my, you know, the, the one that I talk about the most is the remote capability. So, um, I mean, it's in the name, right? I mean, an integrated uh, remote access, right? So when it comes to iDRAC, right, the the beauty behind it is that you can do it wherever you're at. So not only can you just do anything like, you know, normal server monitoring, um, such as, you know, what the components are consisting of, you know, that server or, you know, what the firmware levels are, what the service tag is, um, you know, what the, you know, the, the RAID policy is set at. Um, you know, what the, you know, you, you can just do basic monitoring, right? Any monitoring that you'd be doing physically at this, you know, at the server level. Um, but on top of that, you can also manipulate the server as well. And you can really get, you know, hands-on from a management standpoint. So, um, you know, you can essentially, you know, remotely boot the system from wherever you're at because the system itself is, um, or iDRAC itself is out of band. Um, meaning that even if the system is in a power off mode, you can, re you know, reboot it, you can, sh you know, shut it off. So for instance, if you have a update that has to be done, um, or has to go into effect after, you know, after reboot, it doesn't matter, you can do it wherever you're at. Um, if maybe you lose power, and you need to remote in to turn that server back on, you don't have to be at the server, you can do it wherever you're at, right? Just, you know, you can do all of that, because it's out of band. Um, from a um, remote standpoint, you can also load the OS. So we've had customers who you know, maybe they have that data center spread out throughout the, the US and they, you know, maybe they need to upgrade from, you know, say Windows, you know, I don't know, Windows 12 to Windows, um, what are we at now? Windows 2022, right? So you can do that wherever you're at. If you don't have the OS already loaded on the server, 
you can load it on whatever desktop you're sitting at, and then you can push that remotely to that server so that you can essentially, you know, load that OS on there and, and, and boot up that server. Um, you can also edit things on the BIOS level via the uh, lifecycle controller. So um, that's something that, you know, a lot of competitors can't do, um, especially um, where Dell takes it to the point where you can actually schedule these updates. So, right, maybe, you know, you get annoyed because, you know, if you have to do a certain update or do a certain, you know, manipulation to a, a server, you're sick of waiting, you know, after when everybody leaves at the end of the day, stay longer, right? You know, you can't beat the traffic. You gotta, you, you gotta wait, you know, till the end of the day. You can actually schedule those updates with, with, you know, with Dell's iDRAC, even if it's on the BIOS level. So again, very neat stuff that you can do remotely. Um, and it's pretty. Now, was it, was that a dig at Supermicro? Is that what I heard? Mm -hmm. you, you didn't mention them by name, but you guys said some yeah. of the, some of our, some of the other companies out there. So is, is, is that who you were talking about? That is one of the main ones. I will say okay. a lot of our okay. customers who come over from Supermicro do appreciate the fact that that they can, rem, you know, remotely edit their BIOS level settings and and not have to do it right then and there as well or apply it immediately. So a little bit, but again, it is relevant because a lot of our customers do bringing up. Um, and I will say too, it is very seamless. So in the past, if you guys are a long-term Dell customer and you've used the previous versions of iDRAC, you know, it, it, back in the day, it was Java based. So a little, little clunky, um, maybe not the, the smoothest interface. Dell went away from that because that was one of the biggest feedbacks of, you know, the iDRAC, you know, legacy iDRAC. Um, you know, now it's HTML5 based. So when you go on, it's just a web based GUI. Um, everything is very smooth, you know, very real time feel. Um, even when you access the, uh, the virtual console, which is essentially like a remote KVM. So think of, instead of having to be physically at the server and pulling up a KVM to, you know, pull up, you know, your, your, your windows dashboard, you can actually do that, you know, via the, you know, virtual console, wherever you're at. So, you know, you essentially can have a KVM wherever you're at. So again, very neat stuff. And, and all that is, you know, able to, no, be done. I, I, I will say that the, you and I were talking earlier, mm -hmm. the, um, you gave me a great story and I'm going to do a quick summary of it here for everybody. So Tyler had one of the uh, one of his customers. They're going on a and, and we've all been the been this where you're going on a vacation with your wife, your spouse, your significant other, and work calls. And uh, hey, hey, we we have to have uh, the server rebooted. And the uh, I know we weren't 100 percent sure if he did it just on his phone, but it, the, the story is he took out his phone and he was able to reboot the server right from there because of iDRAC. So that's a great kind of like, a, hey, look, remote can do, yes, it does all these things, but it gives you your vacation back. Yeah. So that's, that's a, that, that, that's like the underlying features. Okay. You get your vacation back because of your remote capabilities. So if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your wife. Happy yeah, wife. There you happy go. Wife. There you go. <laughs> all right. So, so what's the next top feature you got for us? Yeah. So next um, I do want to talk about the, um, just the simplicity of the interface. Um, and that really comes, starts with the, the dashboard itself. So when you log into your iDRAC, um, and I know you kind of prefaced it already, but we'll do a, a demo later on where we kind of show you exactly what the demo entails and what you can do and how to do it. But the dashboard itself is very easy to understand and learn. Even if you're maybe newer uh, sysadmin or maybe if you have a, a team of, you know, interns who, who help manage stuff around, uh, you know, around the, the server side of things, right? That's something that's very easy to learn. Um, just the dashboard itself, uh, you know, simplifies thing with, uh, um, you know, with the RGY health alerts, um, or essentially red, green, yellow. So, you know, red means bad, green means great, yellow means, hey, there's some optional things that are recommended. Um, and it gives you a health score as well. So you can know, you know, at a quick glimpse, okay, do I need to do anything now? Or can maybe it wait till later this evening or the next, you know, scheduled uh, update. So um, on top of that, you can also get a, a you know, a clear overview as to what all the different, you know, firmwares and drivers and, and BIOS levels are at. Um, so essentially you don't need to go digging for that. It's right there at your dashboard. Um, and then it has hyperlinks to be able to take you, um, you know, to more specific places throughout the iDRAC dashboard as well. Even has a very handy search function that I will say that I use quite a bit um, because there's a, a um, you know, out of all the, the different, um, you know, management tools that I've, I've used over the years, you know, iDRAC, I will say just, you know, instead of having to go through a tab and say, okay, do I need to go to the systems? I just type it in. You know, I want to look for a system lockdown and look for, you know, set rate policy. Just type it in, takes you right to it. So um, it's, you know, very, uh, very handy. And it's all, again, right at your fingertips at the at the dashboard. So um, and on top of that, you can also set policy driven automations. And what I mean by that is 
right? You can't always be monitoring a server 24 seven, right? You have, you should at least have, you know, many other jobs we do and throughout the day, whether that's different projects or different things you need to be doing, fixing computers, etc. You can set policy driven automation so that essentially, you know, if something happens, it'll send you an email or if something happens, it'll shut down the server, you know, so you can do all these different if then statements. Um, for instance, we have customers who often will set, you know, for their higher, um, you know, higher high performance computing uh, workloads, they'll set it so that if the system reaches a certain thermal, that it'll alert them. And then if it hits it even higher, that it'll gracefully shut down the system. Um, so again, you know, some, some neat stuff that you can do just based on policy driven automations. And I know there's even steps further you can take with, um, and this kind of goes to my next point, but with, um, you know, the API implementation you can, you know, um, add as well through, um, you know, through iDRAC. So kind of leads me to my, my next point um, that iDRAC plays well with others. And what I mean by that is, you know, nine times out of 10, you're, you know, you're going to be running some sort of virtualization um, uh, half form over top of your server. So iDRAC actually has integrations with, you know, those uh, virtualization platforms. So, you know, if you're a, you know, bare metal, uh, you know, Hyper-V customer and you use Windows Server, right, it integrates directly with Windows Admin Center. Um, if you're a, you know, VMware customer, you know, that integrates directly with vCenter. Um, and you can even do, you know, if you're into telemetry streaming um, or do anything with like Redfish um, or uh, Redfish SSE, uh, you know, that, you know, it incorporates with that as well. So again, it plays very nice with others. And, you know, if you want to even incorporate any sort of like PowerShell or, or any sort of additional, um, you know, integration, again, that all can be done with iDRAC as well. All right, so, um, we, so far we, we've gotten remote mm -hmm. monitoring integrations as our, as our top features the top three so rounding out our top five are some pretty cool pretty cool features so why don't you go into the the next one we've got what do we got here what's our what's our what's our i guess top two we'll call it yeah so next a pretty is a pretty big one especially in this day and age where you know ransomware and uh, malware is such a, a big talk unfortunately in the industry is security so when it comes to just security as a whole, I will say that Dell's iDRAC, even though it is a way into the system and, you know, it is a, you know, way for you to essentially, you know, manage it externally, um, it does have some security impl implications in place to essentially, you know, um, safeguard it. Um, one of the big ones is essentially the, uh, the silicone based root of trust system, which essentially means that it's able to detect if there's any sort of malicious string of code or you know anything that is not supposed to be there and nothing verified by Dell within the uh, code itself so that on boot, right? If it says, hey, this specific line of code is not supposed to be there, this, it's, this isn't verified for what Dell says it's supposed to be, you know, not only will it alert you, but it will completely lock down the system and it will not turn it on and it will protect it. So again, very neat stuff um, just at that level. Um, if you're somebody who again has a, a large team that maybe goes often, you know, into iDRAC or into the server management piece to, um, you know, to monitor the system, um, and maybe you don't want them fat fingering anything, like you can, you know, that that's often done because human error is typically the, the biggest reason for for error in, in IT. I think we can all agree on that. Um, you can incorporate um, or enable system lockdown mode, which essentially makes it so that it's a read only mode. Um, so that way you can safely navigate, you know, the whole iDRAC dashboard without any fear of, oh, I accidentally just changed the subnet of, you know, of iDRAC or, oh, I just accidentally brought down the network down or, oh, I accidentally just wiped the server, right? It's, it's there's no accidents, no oopses, you know, you can incorporate and enable system lockdown to, uh, to prevent that, right? To prevent anybody from updating any firmwares or anything like that. So very, uh, very neat stuff there. And again, that's only the, the tip of the iceberg for the security side of things. There's a lot of other features as well um, that I could bore you guys with all day, but um, I do want to kind of keep that portion kind of brief. All right. Um, last then, top feature. What do we got, Tyler? Yeah, last kind of plays into this whole new sense of of AI, right? Of of you know doing things you know easier and and you know keep everything very efficient. And that's the zero touch auto config feature of iDRAC. And what essentially that allows you to do is right, you can save different profiles of, you know, of, of a server. So for instance, we had a customer who bought or like a half a dozen, um, you know, quantity of servers, um, same configuration, just going to different locations. What they did was they, you know, configured one how they wanted and they saved that profile or, or saved that template. And then when they went to, you know, 
um, deploy the other ones or, or configure the other ones, right? They automatically, you know, chose to um, to to boot from that or not boot, but to um, import that profile into those servers. They didn't have to lift a finger, right? So they were able to do that and and made it very simple to uh, you know to deploy and configure those those servers. So save them a lot of time there. They're able to to do other things while that happened. So yeah, very neat feature there. And there's also some other automation features that kind of go into it as well. Um, that again, it, there's a lot of automation under the hood with, uh, you know, with iDRAC, but that's again, one of the, the big features there. Nice. And so in the beginning we talked about, Hey, we're going to give people uh, an ability or a chance to influence future videos. So Tyler, mm -hmm. he, he touched on a lot of topics here today. If you would like to, to get any kind of deep dives in those, I, I know a lot of times when we talk to customers, people don't always get a chance to see things in live person. So if you want to see someone us go into it and where we have, because we have access to all the hardware, all the software, let us know and we can do deep dives into any of this. So um, please just in, reply in the comments. We're reading those, taking notes, and you can be influential. Uh, and let us know if you, if you even want us to name your name and give you credit for that, for that next amazing video, then we'll do that. And Tyler, I know you wanted to kind of tease up and give a couple of previews of upcoming videos about these topics. So let me yeah. pass it back to you for that. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, in addition to, you know, kind of doing a hands-on demo, um, which that's something that we, we often do here, not only, you know, directly one-on-ones with customers, but that's something that we've, you know, seen in, in YouTube comments and, and whatnot that they, you know, customers and, and users want to see and we'll do it live um, or, or, you know, record those for them. But in addition to, you know, the iDirect demo, um, you know, also going to be diving into Open Managed Enterprise, which is essentially Dell's one-to-many, uh, you know, server management platform. Um, on top of that, um, this a very neat tool that's free. Um, and it kind of goes into not just servers, but storage, networking, data protection, basically the whole enterprise Dell uh, portfolio. Um, it kind of applies to, it's called Cloud IQ or uh, currently being renamed AI Ops, but a lot of you might know it as Cloud IQ. Um, we're going to be doing a demo and, and deep dive on that as well. So a lot of really neat stuff coming out. So, so if you want to see all that, please comment, subscribe, and you will get updates on all of this. And maybe by the time you're watching this video, it'll even be posted over wherever they're going to put the related videos, somewhere around us. They're going to put these related marketing, put the video. So um, stay tuned for any of that. So Tyler, anything else you want to close with for us today? Uh, I guess the only other thing I just want to say is if there's anything else too that you guys you know want to see, not only just with our videos, but maybe you wish that Dell did something different with their iDirect management or whatever the case might be, right? Now let us know. That's something where we do have um, you know pretty frequent conversations with Dell directly, you know, being Dell partners. Um, but you know, we, we talk to them quite often, whether it's you know about you know documentation or you know upcoming features, et cetera. So if there's anything that you want to see, you know, let us know. Maybe that's something we can shoot up the chain and and you guys can see in a, a future update. So you know, even if it's on on that level, you know, let us be that uh, you know, let us be that that you know um, that 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 source of information, you know, to kind of get from you to the you know to dell so all right thank you very much very much for joining us today tyler um if you are watching and, you, and you'd like to uh hear more from tyler or learn about the solutions for xbyte technologies um please visit them at xbyte.com and um click on the link to to talk to one of the consultants one of the solution architects so thank you guys very much and i hope you enjoyed and learned something new and subscribe thank you guys